Hello everyone, Deck Trolls here, and today I have for you my BLS OTK deck. And uh, it consists of three different uh, OTKs. One is Exodia, another is Infinite Attack, and the other is uh, Infinite Burn. So this is part three of my three Exodia decks. And remember, I have 100 plus budget friendly decks, so there's going to be a lot of fun content coming your way. So please make sure to like and subscribe. And let's get to it. You got your five pieces of Exodia. You got two Black Luster so Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. Cannot be normal summoner set, must first be special summoned from your hand by banishing one light monster and one dark monster from your graveyard. Once per turn, you can activate one of these effects. Target one monster on the field, banish that target face up. That uh, This card cannot attack during the turn you activate this card effect. Uh, this attack, uh, if this attacking card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, after damage calculation it can make a second attack in a row. You've got two Banisher of Radiance. Any card that is sent to the graveyard is removed from play instead. You've got two Summoner Monk. While this card is face up on the field, it cannot be tributed. If this card is in no is normal or flip summoned, change this card to defense position. Once per turn, you can discard one spell card, special summon one level 4 monster from your deck, but that monster cannot activate, cannot attack this turn. Got one Raiden, Hand of the Light Sworn. Uh, I have it in here because it's a tuner, uh, and it's able to be searched and summoned by Summoner Monk. During your main phase, you can send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard. Then, if any Light Sworn monsters were sent to the graveyard by this effect, this card gains 200 attack until the end of your opponent's turn. You can only use the effect of Raiden, Hand of the Light Sworn, once per turn. Once per turn, during your end phase, send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard. And lastly, for the monsters, I run two Cyber Dragon. If your opponent controls a monster and you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. Alright, now for the really important card of the deck to get off your loop uh, is 3 Primal Seed. You only need 2, but I run 3 for consistency. Uh, you can activate. You can only activate this card when there is a Black Lesser Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, or Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End on the field, add two, two of your cards that are removed from play to your hand. That's it. But it's very important for your loop. Alright, you got one Upstart Goblin. Draw one card, your opponent gains a thousand life points. And one, one day of peace. Each player draws one card, and neither player takes damage until the end of their your opponent's next turn. Run two, Goblin Thief. Inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent's life points, and increase your life points by 500 points. And one, limit removal. Double the attack of all face-up machine type monsters on your side of the field until the end of this turn. During the end phase, destroy all monsters that were affected by this effect. Got one, Valhalla, Hall of the Fallen, to try and special summon your, uh, what's it called, banishment, banisher of the radiance. Once per turn, if you control no monsters, you can special summon one fairy monster from your hand. We've got 
two double summons. You can normal summon one additional time this turn. You can only gain this effect once per turn. You got one gold sarcophagus. Banish one card from your deck face up. During your second standby phase after this card's activation, add that card to your hand. Got one foolish burial. Send one monster from your deck to the graveyard. One burial from a different dimension. Target up to three banished monsters. Return them to the graveyard. Got two monster reincarnation. Discard one card, then target one monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. You got three hand destruction. Each player sends two cards from their hand to the graveyard, then draw two cards. Three magical mallet. Add any number of cards from your hand to the deck, and then shuffle it. Then draw the same number of cards you added to the deck. And lastly, three reload. Oh wait, no, not lastly. Lastly for the spells. Uh, add your hand to the deck, shuffle it, then draw the same number of cards that you added to the deck. Now the last card for the main deck. You got one trap, Macrocosmos. You can special summon one Helios, the primordial sun, from your hand or deck, which is not relevant because you don't have it. While this card is on the field, any card sent to the graveyard is removed from play instead, which is also pretty important for your loop unless you have a Banisher of Radiance. And for the extra deck, you only have one monster. You can add whatever you want, but it wouldn't necessarily be necessary. Uh, one Ally of Justice Light Gazer. It's a uh, level 8. Requires one tuner and one or more non-tuners. Uh, this card, it is also machine, which is important. This card gains 200 attack for each light monster in your opponent's graveyard. Okay, so I'm going to show you the three different ways to do your loops. So let's bring out our main cards here. You got... Those two. Those. Or Cyber Dragon. You got your five pieces of Exodia. Put that up here. Put these over there. And you got your. BLS, your two necessary primal seeds, and your three different win condition cards. So, in every situation, you will need a BLS and one of these two. So, to summon your BLS, you will have to have sent your Summoner Monk and your Raiden Hand of the Light Sword into the graveyard, uh, most likely through uh, a Synchro Summon, but it also could have happened uh, through different means. So. Let's assume you synchro summoned while you had Banisher Radiance. So these are banished. Yeah, no. You synchro summoned while these two were not activated. You got your Ally of Justice. You summoned him, and then they got banished. Alright, now you've got your Macrocosmos. So to start off, depending on which card you have, 
uh, determines your wind condition. If you have your limiter removal and you have your two primal seeds, you'll be able to use this way. You will use limiter removal, double the attack of your monster, it will get banished. Primal seed, retrieve two of your banished cards, put them to your hand. So you'll grab two cards that are banished. Importantly, this one. This will get banished because of Macrocosmos. Now you will activate Limiter Removal. And then it'll double attack again. This card will get banished because of Macrocosmos. And now your loop continues. Primal Seed. Add two cards. Limiter Removal. Primal Seed. Add two cards. And you can do that for as many times as you want. And that is technically a possible way for your machine type monster to get infinite attack. So you could either have him or you could have your Cyber Dragon. That's why I run both of them. So he's for the Synchro Summon out of uh, Raiden and Summoner Monk. And this is uh, a special summon which is possible to get actually both of them on the same turn so yeah you'll be able to have a machine type monster with infinite attack that is one possibility so now let's assume you've done your usual you summoned you sent a spell to the grave, summon Raiden, synchroed, you got him banished, you got BLS, and this was activated. So you got Macrocosmos. Now your other options are Goblin Thief or Upstart Goblin. So let's say Goblin Thief. So now, you still have your two primal seeds in your hand. You activate Goblin Thief. You gain 500. Your opponent gets burned 500. Now, primal seed. You get two of your banished cards to your hand. This gets banished because Macrocosmos. You, uh, you do Goblin Thief. You burn them. You gain life points. Primal seed. Banished, Goblin Thief, Primal Seed, Goblin Thief, Primal Seed, until you burn your opponent's life points down to zero. That's the other OTK. Um, and your other possibility, let's say you're under these same circumstances. So now your last option is upstart goblin you will upstart goblin give your opponent a thousand life points you draw a card primal seed grab your upstart goblin and one of your banished cards gets banished upstart goblin you gain uh, your opponent gains a thousand you draw a card primal seed you grab your upstart and your primal seed gets banished upstart you draw a card they get, gain a thousand primal seed upstart primal seed upstart primal seed and you do that until you draw all five pieces of exodia so those are the three different uh, possible OTKs with this deck. Uh, it might not be a first win, uh, a first turn kill, or a one turn kill, but if you get it going and they can't stop you, then that is the way it goes. <laughs> so yeah, that is the winning condition.
Well, technically, oops, sorry. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. What did you like? What did you dislike? Uh, what would you do to improve it? Um, yeah, comment below. I like when you guys comment. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe because I have 100 plus budget friendly deck profiles. There's going to be a lot of fun content coming your way. Uh, yeah, most importantly, have fun.